welcome back to my channel i'm back like i never left so today's video i'm showing y'all all the goodies i got from my good store ulta when you go into ulta there's a low end side and there's a high end side catch my ass on a low end side it's like drugstore not really like low end but like drugstore catch me on the drugstore side because who doesn't love a good drugstore little foundation first of all i'm using drugstore concealer right now i don't know about foundation but concealer yes i'm gonna go from drugstore to high end so the first thing i got which i've learned to love well not learn to love i like fell in love with it when i used it this is the makeup revolution this is what i'm using right now as concealer this was about ten dollars i think in the color c12.5 i love it because look at the wand the wand is literally nice and thick let me swatch it the wand is so thick and like when you put on your concealer literally you don't have to you know go back and dip in and go back like i hate i hate that like i hate doing that literally one swipe you can just and the color is amazing it's thick it's creamy 100 percent blendable look at that and if i like look at that coverage like come on talk to me right, we're gonna stay in make, um, makeup revolution right now so the next thing i got is the setting powder because i live for the setting powder i got this in banana deep this has color to it it's definitely good for my brown skin tones it's perfect they have ranges from you know translucent to like deep 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 tones like a ready undertone type it's literally like amazing and it blends so well it doesn't give you flashback it does not give you flashback just press it in and work it in and put your setting spray in your good to go i'm moving on from makeup revolution because actually i'm lying i have one more thing for makeup revolution and that is that is the foundation the foundation y'all hold on hold on let me get it out my stash first of all look at the wand on this yes let me swatch it for you there we go look at that like coverage and the color payoff like it's just amazing this is in um the shade i think it's like 14 no f13 you see it right there let me blend it in for you like this is just uh if your ma is like close to my skin tone i would say to go for this shade it's not like hard to move like you know other foundation you know compare it to any of your high-end foundations honey and you'll see what i'm talking about first of all let me stop you in the middle of watching this video and if you haven't liked this video what are you waiting for don't make me jump through this camera because i see you and i know where you're at like the video right now right now right now right now subscribe subscribe right now right now right now right now because you're gonna want to come back all right now right now right now all right let's keep it moving l cosmetics has come a long way i remember literally back in the day back in the day like i'm so old l cosmetics had had no like deeper shades like i would stay far 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 away from elf because that did not compliment me at all i think somebody called them out on it jackie Ina, if i'm not mistaken do please do not hold that above my head because i don't know but i think somebody come somebody called them out on like not having any shades and then boom look at it i'm in love this is the elf concealer this is definitely the hydrating one. Oh, my battery is dying i love it don't let it dry down for too long because you will not be able to move it i got it in um deep cinnamon I, I'm in love with the wand right here. That is deep cinnamon. 
and that I would use I don't know if I will use for my concealer right now I think I might yeah if I'm going for like a natural look and look how nice and creamy that is see it's already starting to dry you see you see how matte it's getting yeah it's already starting to dry down but I actually really like that so I need some energy it's late I'm tired my battery died three times it's been a long day but let's continue covergirl concealer i always wanted to try this concealer literally everyone had it but me so i was like i can't be left out what i got this in uh the shade golden caramel first of all this is my first swatch i haven't even swatched it in the store or anything that has a really nice tone to it it's kind of gold it is golden definitely caramel golden like it described um let's blend that oh definitely creamy i feel it definitely creamy oh definitely blendable and soft wow i love it i love it that that's perfect for concealer definitely a cop got an elf eyeliner definitely a go definitely a cop got two morphe lip glosses i really like the morphe lip glosses because it's velvety um not as velvet as nyx but it's you know it's up there i love these um this one is more pinky rather than this one wait where are the names oh okay this one is boohoo lip gloss let me swatch that for you sometimes i use this you see how it's kind of pinky yeah it's really 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 pretty just have a nice brown liner and that works flower crown i feel like i'm gonna love this one like i haven't even you know tried this but i love me a nice neutral color i'm sorry if you hear a lot of um noise in the background those are my neighbors <laughs> this one is first base here we go hey okay so yeah that's the color and let's swatch that right here Ooh, girl oh girl i'm really bad at swatching i'm really 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 bad at let me go right here imagine that with a nice nude liner and these are the lip glosses really really pretty the nyx soft matte lip cream i you know i love the lip creams because it's so much high pigment and you can know you can top it off with the gloss and it's not you know it's not drying or anything okay. yep okay so that's it right there that's a pretty nude that's really pretty and now we're headed over to prestige the prestige section we have <gasps> my favorite literally 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 my favorite lancome lancome foundation this is in the shade 520 i'm using this right now my foundation you can see it right here like it's so soft it's literally i love this foundation this is the foundation that i have to like re-up every time i have to go back and go get it go get it go get it my last prestige item was the kylie concealer i've heard a lot about this i've heard that it's really good really great coverage so i was like why not try it out for myself the shade granola um i use this on the inner corner of my eyes i always go in with a lighter concealer on the inner corner and then a you know slightly darker concealer at at the outside so it can be nice and airbrushed so it can look you know put together there we go So that is the swatch of granola. It's actually very great coverage. That was very great coverage. 
Let me blend it in for you. It's very, very, very creamy. Very creamy. Yeah, I love the way it blends, actually. The last thing I got today, today, the last thing I got today was this. Uh, take me back to Brazil palette. And let me open it up. And you see, I was attracted to it because literally it has all the colors of the rainbow. You can do like a nice eye look with every single color here. This is actually from BH Cosmetics. It was $20 in store. That is amazing. I'm looking at this pink. I've kind of, I swatched it already, but you know, not that much. See this pink right here? Yeah. Ooh. Hello. Let me just, hello, hello pink. What other color should we do? Um, yellow is kind of a hard color to, to make because sometimes it could come off chalky or it won't have any pigment. So that's what it looks like. And we're gonna swatch it. First, the pigment is non-existent, but I'm sure it's buildable. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys what I got from Morphe a couple of days ago. I'm gonna show you only one thing I got from there because I don't know um, where the stuff is. So these two popped out at me. These are um, Hydra FX, that's what it's called. They came with the brush and these glow in the dark or no, or it glows under the UV light. Yeah, it glows under the UV light. Uh, you know what? I don't even have UV light. Whatever. I wanted to compare it to like the Anastasia one, but so that's how it looks inside. That's cute. Let me show you the other one. Hold on one second. And that's how this one looks. I love the neon yellow or neon green, whatever you see. I see yellow, some people see green. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys are these glitters that I actually got from Walmart. They came in the little craft packets. It was like a packet of like 12. I just got these, these little holder things from Shein. They were literally a dollar for like 10. And I put them in there, hey. Okay, pat on the back, because that was definitely creative. Okay, so that was the end of this little haul thing, you know what I'm saying? Not only, I thought I was only gonna do Ulta, but you know, Ulta came in with Morphe, and then came with the craft store, or Walmart, you know, came with all of that bunched in one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little video to put out there for you guys, so you guys won't miss me. If you want to see how I got this look, actually this look is going to be on my Instagram. So go follow my Instagram at kcreations.mua. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. <sighs> Bye.